I think I look back of when I was a youngster, I, I, I could only draw on what I received from the club, and I have always done that throughout my life. I always look at a child and I'll say, you know, there's got to be something great to this child. And, you know, we don't win them all, but, you know, if we can at least try to make a difference in these lives. I see so many kids who are now young adults out and about throughout the community, and they start coming to me and they say, you know, do you remember who I was? And I said, yeah, I do. Yeah, I went to the boys' club. I could, it can't, couldn't wait, you know. And and it was such a positive experience for so many young people. And we've got to continue to do that. I honestly believe somewhere we have lost a generation of children, and we have got to make sure that everything that we do is going to give these children hope and opportunity. Right now, I think if you look at the, our statistics from 2011-2012, uh, every one of our seniors that went to the boys but girls club graduated from high school. And if we can continue on that trend, I think we're going to have a huge impact on the society because we've got to get our kids employed to help them have a job, to, to make a difference in this community, to buy into it. He's probably in his mid-thirties. He's a club kid, grew up at the DeSoto Club. And we're talking about different things that gave him a tour, as you can see. Please take a tour of the Boys and Girls Club. But uh, he went on a tour and he said, you know what, I really want to get involved, but I'm a, a little nervous about that. And I said, why? He said, I'm young. I said, hey, you may be the youngest board member that we have, but that's what we need to do. We need to cultivate and grow this organization from young people and up. And uh, sometimes we have a lot of uh, board members and community support, but they also have gray hair. So we need to look at how we can get younger and, and get more people involved. What we do is provide a variety of opportunities. We could use coaches for our sports teams. We can use individuals that can help with technology for our young people. You know, when you're dealing with 76% of your, your population are on free and reduced lunch, uh, that sort of tells you that about 40% of our families had technology at home. So they've got to be able to have that opportunity. Schools do a great job, but there's only they're only in class with technology for, what, 45 minutes a day? So what we've got to do is have people that can work with children and help them take the technology that we have and grow and learn. 87 cents of every dollar that is raised, donated, goes directly to our program. We try to keep our administrative costs at 13 percent. I don't know that we could ever get lower. But, uh, you know, that's not a bad return on your dollar. And to help over 6,000 children for that gift that you would make to the Boys and Girls Clubs is going to allow them to be involved in a variety of life-changing positive activities. I can't think of a better, better return on your investment. A gift of 100 500 a dollar. We... We can use it because it's going to go to provide a child a prevention class that is going to teach him the dangers of tobacco, alcohol, teen pregnancy, diseases, these type of things that are affecting our children. And we have got to give them every opportunity. I'm going to give that, that word. I love hope and opportunity because that's what it's all about. When we have our children, we want to give them that peace that is going to help them survive. Since 1946, the Boys and Girls Club, the Boys Club, has been a strong staple in young people's lives. That's 66 years. I don't believe we're going anywhere. We're now serving over 6,000 children. We have got to serve more kids. There are a lot of children that are going home to empty houses, and it's so important that we are there to provide a quality program
for those children. And any time that an individual makes a contribution, it's going to help the community. Again, you, you have a choice, pay me now or pay me later. And I'd rather be looking at $1,000 a year to provide a great opportunity for a child compared to over $90,000 a year for a child that's incarcerated. So, you know, you make the, the choice, but I guarantee you, you see what we're doing. You open the door, you take a tour, and you're going to be convinced that the Boys and Girls Clubs of Manti County is the positive place for children.